get tired of seeing people criticizing my, my work ethic, my sincerity for wanting to get better. My job is stopping pucks, stopping pucks for whatever team wants to sign me. I need to be on top of my game prepared that I'm ready to go and I'm going to stop pucks and I'm going to dominate whatever level, whatever level that it is I'm going to be playing at. Today, only one thing needs to be done. Mullet has been taken care of. So good. All right, I'm all taken care of. I was talking to my agent yesterday, Adrian Soon, and he tells me that a team in the SPHL called and said, hey, we need a goalie. Sooner says, the only guy I got for you right now is Trav. And they said, no, not a chance. Don't want that guy anywhere near the team. In a sense, the SPHL did come calling. Just not for me. This was filmed a couple weeks ago. Since then, there have been a few more teams that seem to have a little bit of interest. A team in Germany, my old team in Sweden from this season is really interested again. There's a team in France. You should subscribe to the channel because when I do sign for next season, I'm gonna make a video announcing it, where I'm signing, when I'm leaving, where I'm playing, all that kind of stuff, what country it's gonna be in. Back to the video. confused anymore basically what Pascal wants here is that if the head doesn't leave the body kind of like a snake you can't move it in the puck everything has to be aligned in order for you to move properly back to the video it's cool i don't do it because it's trendy i don't do it because it's a cool instagram post or that it helps me pick up chicks i do it because i take my craft seriously and i want to do my job to the best of my abilities i'm a free agent i have something to prove i want to play for a team and i want to win games for a team you don't do it through sitting on the couch watching netflix all day you do it by getting off your ass getting the rink and putting in the time i may not be the best out there but i love what i do and i take my job very seriously i want to play hockey this season and i want to play it at a high level and maybe pick up a few girls but that's beside the point. Mission log, I just made a brand new friend. <laughs> Mr. Sweeney, Liam's dad. He's a great guy. And uh, trying to get in or what, bud? You wanna uh, let me in? <laughs> I locked it, baby. Let's go get in. Oh. It looks pretty good though. It looks great. You know how they came up with the term white spot? <laughs> <laughs> the first day we really started off just kind of tinkering with the stance and just making sure that he has his legs a little closer together, the ability to pivot and get into position much more effectively. When you're standing still and the players have all the time in the world, they can expose whatever you want. So you slice the defensive zone up into multiple sections. There's only a certain number of things a player can do and there's only a certain number of things that you need to do as a goalie. So he's able to control himself a lot better, so it's awesome. You can't expect all of your, you know, your beautiful girlfriends to take care of themselves. You actually have to take care of yourself. Well, can you film me out or what? Yeah, give me a second. Well, every hour one man gets diagnosed with testicular cancer. The folks at Manscaped are taking their game seriously this month. Partnering with the Testicular Cancer Society to bring some more awareness. Men aged 15 to 35 are a big priority when it comes to testicular cancer just because we're men. We don't like to talk about that kind of stuff. But if you go to manscaped.com slash testicular cancer society, TCS, you're gonna learn a lot more about their campaign. And on top of that, we gotta take care of ourselves, make sure we're getting checked, taking care of the boys. Make sure your George W ain't hanging out, make sure you don't got no extra egg salad. Don't want none of that. Let me tell you why. This is the Manscaped Lawnmower 3.0. It's got skin safe technology so you will not nick your sack. 
This thing is so cutting edge, you can even use it in the shower, underwater, even in the ocean. You can even use it while you're doing the business. And guess what? If you go to the link in the description right now, you'll save yourself 20% off your perfect package and performance package at manscaped.com. The best tools are your testicles. Oh, hey. Okay. Didn't see you there. I'm taking the VRL back home in two days. I've never seen Jasper through Vancouver. I know a lot of people don't give a shit. I'm really passionate about trains. I'm gonna do a video coming up documenting the whole trip from Vancouver to Winnipeg and kind of what traveling like during the pandemic on a train is like. That doesn't really make any sense. And uh, if you wanna see that video, I'm excited to make it for you. And if you don't wanna see that video, that's cool too. My feelings aren't hurt. I always love coming to Vancouver and I really wanna move here on a full-time basis next summer when the season's done, assuming there is a next season. And uh, yeah. This is it. Vancouver, I'm out of here in uh, four hours. Train leaves. Oh, hey. Oh, Jesus Christ. Wow. Oh, hey. Didn't expect to see you there so fast. Chicken time. Download chicken. Elite. Great pickles. The most expensive place to eat in Vancouver. Worth every penny. Would skip the dishes to Winnipeg in my apartment from here. Although it might get cold. Thanks for watching. Bye. Telephone. That concludes my full week spent in Vancouver, reconnecting with my old Swedish roommate, refocusing on my game, training with Pascal Buona for next season, and also getting a break from the COVID craze and it's back home. As I mentioned, I'm going back home from Vancouver back to Winnipeg, and I'm doing a video dedicated to that. When I do get back home, we got a few things to discuss, including a knee injury that may have me on the shelf for significantly longer than I was expecting. It's gonna be its own dedicated video coming up in two weeks. Next week is a travel vlog coming back home. Week after, my MCL injury, what's going on, and how long I'm gonna be out for. Make sure you check out my new podcast, Summer Biscuit, with my buddy Pat Shea. We had Casper Kaskasuo on, Coach Jeremy How to Hockey on last week, and this week, Dale Weiss is coming on the podcast. NHL or Dale Weiss, you can now listen on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Thanks for watching. That's it, new videos going up every Monday, new podcast goes up every Thursday, and I hope you enjoy some of these outtakes that we're not good enough to make the cut for this Vancouver trip. See you next week. Look at that sign. Relatable. So I'm out in a boat. Wesley Howerton. He's a superstar in the Swedish Fleet League, and it got me thinking. I like my women, like I like my shamrock shapes. Triple thick. And green. <laughs> You know what's really cool? Downtown Vancouver at night, Granville Street Bridge or Burrard Street Bridge. It's like nobody out. It's kind of nice. Oh shit, this car's coming that way. I lied. I went to this fancy place called Elysian. They filled my raspberry almond croissant. Great place. Unbelievable place.